Welcome back, folks. So part number nine of Must Learn KQL series. We'll talk about the limit take operator, kind of the same thing. Uh, you can use them interchangeably. But as usual, go to aka.ms slash must learn KQL and take a look at parts one through nine of Rod Trent's material. This is really just a companion video to this series so let's get into it so basic syntax for take just pipe take and then you can use numbers to bring back however many rows you want so if i run this i'm just going to get 10 results a uh, couple things to note here with the functionality so there's really no specific there's no specific sort order in this KQL is just picking 10 random, or I'm sure there's some science or magic behind that, but how that does it. But if I run this multiple times, I'm almost always going to get different results. So something to be aware of there. I don't have to use 10. I could use 5, for instance, or 25, however you want to use it. So the basic idea here is if I'm looking for some data in the security events table, I don't really know what the security events table looks like. I can use take to pull a random sample of that data uh, and get a better idea of what it looks like before I start crafting the rest of my query. So that's kind of the idea. If I look at more of a real world example here, so maybe I'm looking for some log on activity and I maybe I don't necessarily need to look at all thousands of events that come up here uh, but I just want to take a random sample of 10 and get an idea of what this uh, query does so you see here I use limit and s instead of take same thing no functional difference um, in limit or take they do the exact same thing it's really just personal preference thing. So one thing to note here, the max um, number of rows that a KQL query is going to return is 30,000. So if you're bumping up against that uh, threshold, you just take 100 or 1,000 to get a, a good sample of what the data looks like. So and I'll just give you a quick example of that using this query. Mm, probably seven days worth is going to bring back more than 30,000 results. And I'll comment out this take, shift enter to run, and you can see it's still running. And still running. So you can see here, I come up with 30,000 plus records, and then you get this message here. So just kind of the workflow here as far as how you can. down the information uh, even using seven days here I am still pulling a random thousand of that seven day set of data so a few things you can do is take limit again take limit same thing no functional difference so use whichever one you want to use just be uh, aware that when you're looking at queries online take limit mean the same thing so uh, that's about it for Take Limit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.